gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel That is Dev Chanel Sports World And I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you For all my new subscribers Thank you for all my uh, old subscribers and thank you for the ones that are going to join me i know they're sitting on the fence they're in the bushes they're in the skyscrapers but come on down come on out and just subscribe to my channel okay i am still trying to get to that ten thousand, and i know you all can help me before june 2020 okay but enough all of that you know I'm going to keep begging every video. So you might as well just subscribe to me, okay? I want to get to 10000 guys. Help me, help me, help me. And it doesn't cost you a thing. Only your time and attention. And to hit the notification bell so y'all will know when I'm dropping down videos. But let's get on into Meghan Markle. Why must she want to move to the U.S.? <laughs> now, honey, she did used to look like this. All sexy and vivacious. Now she looks like this. Plain Jane motherhood has her all wrapped up. And the queen made sure that. She said, you ain't coming over here looking like no little Jezebel with all that red, uh, red lipstick. No, we got to clean you up. You can't be looking that like that. All temptation wise and going to have all these men over here flaunting over you. Uh-uh, we need you in the mother. Um, uh, motherhood scene so you need to go on and pop out them babies once y'all get married and be a family and Megan like mm -mm, I tried it I don't like it <laughs> she like I don't like it y'all I need to get back to my roots okay I need to get back to my culture because you know she got a little black in her mama black her daddy white so that makes her black okay in our eyes anyway she's a pretty woman she got class and, and success about herself, but she no, she don't know nothing about that royalty life. I mean, it's good. It wears on you for, you know, a couple of months, maybe a few years, but then you just want to be like the Escape and their song, the singer group Escape. They, her and um, Harry just want to kick off the shoes and relax their feet, party on down to the Escape beat, just kick it. Just kicking. They ain't like uh, William and his wife over there. Pomp and circumstance all day long. Uh-uh. They like the party animals. They like to party, party, party. They ain't get, they get tired of all that pomp and circumstance. You have to sit up right. You have to uh, be polite to everybody that go past you. Then you have to mess with the queen and got to sit up straight all the time and pay attention. And they ain't about that life. <laughs> <laughs> but she know once she said I do, she had to conform up uh, with it, conform to their way of living. The whole parliament, the whole get down with uh letting somebody tell you what to do. You have a schedule from sun up to sun down. You just forever serving your community, okay? Ain't no uh party time. Don't be trying to meet up like you're going to break camp in that photo. Like they trying to get a plan together. See, can they defect? Uh-uh. <laughs> Y'all are in it to win it over there in Parliament. Okay? The Royal British get down, get down. But let's get on into this article. Honey, it was titled. It was brought out to us by Radar Online. And... Uh, they don't give us the person that wrote it, but it really doesn't matter at this time. We know they're employed over there and they're breaking out stories or they wouldn't be doing this story and they wouldn't have a paycheck. We wouldn't have even heard from them. But anyway, it reads as an article titled, No More Africa. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry consider moving to the U.S. Okay, this was put out on yesterday and we're going to get on into it. It says the success are looking for a location to set up a second base, meaning a second home, because that home over there in Europe, they're like, uh-uh, I need to let my hair down. And she almost pretty much told uh, Harry, look, we got to be ourselves. We can't be sitting up here acting like we old and, and, and decrepit and, and just looking all plain. We, uh, we too young for that. We got to get to stepping, all right? Either you coming with me or I'm taking baby Archer and we're going to go to L.A. so I can hang out with my friends so I can get, to my life, get back to my lifestyle so I wear my red lipstick 
I don't want to be like Kate and um, William all stuffy up and all that. I don't want to grow old into that. I'm too vivacious. Because you see, you, all her lipstick gone. All that look. Uh, sex she had, uh-uh, gone. She looked like uh, Mother Teresa. And the boys, you see how they looking like, what? And it, she like, mm-mm, I ain't, finna, I ain't finna go down like that. So getting back to the article, it says, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are considering the United States as a potential second base for their family, according to The Sun. Okay? The sexes, as Radar previously reported, were initially thinking about a potential move to South Africa, particularly uh, Boswani, the place where they first met. I'm like, girl, she ain't finna go there. She ain't finna go to no hot Africa, okay? She might want to visit, partake in the culture here and there, but uh-uh, she wants to go back to California, love. <laughs> that wasn't an article. That was just me uh, picking fun, my sidebar. Okay, but going back to the article, it said, but that location may be possible, be ruled out as their move would mean British and South African taxpayers, which of them would have to fund their security, okay? Because you're not a royalty. Um, neither one of them, or I'm sure Harry ain't going to forfeit his heritage to just be out there all willy-nilly. He liked that good life. He might not like it with all the restrictions he has to follow now. He can't be that little party animal that he was when he was running around him at 17, 18, 19 and all of that. No, he had to calm down, okay? And uh, he had to get married so he can, you know, assume the role of having some type of security, some type of king or prince up there of the throne. You know, they love having them male uh, children to uh, put them in the rotation to where, you know, if one die off or one of them we have to sit down for infringements or whatever, we still got another king to succeed. But, you know, Queen Elizabeth been living, I don't know how long. I think she's an alien because she don't live so long. She don't even look age. She don't age. She don't do anything. It's just every day, the same day, in and out, in and out. But anyway, we ain't talking about her. We're talking about Harry and uh, Meghan. But going back to the article, it says, according to royal correspondent Victoria A, that's just not going to be okay unless, of course, they renounce all of their royal privileges. See, I told you it was a, it was a, a foul, a, a, a flag on Harry could denounce nothing, renounce, denounce, unnounce. It, it ain't going to happen because he likes his money. He likes his prestige. But Megan pretty much like, I don't care. I had money before I met you. You can't do this for me. Then I'm sorry. I'm bouncing with the baby. And we, we going on about our business, okay? Because you got to make a change. You got to make a change. You got to make it soon, honey. But I've been in this thing almost two years, okay? I, I, I need to get back to where I was, where I once was prior to meeting you, okay? You was another just added benefit, but I can't lose myself in all this parliament, uh, palace, royalty, and all the things that come with it, the do's and the don'ts. I I'm tired of the do's and the don'ts. I just want to relax my feet and party on down to the escape. That was what she was saying, girl, to her husband, Harry, get with it or get, get out of my way. But anyway, going back to the article, they said, unless the prince... Uh, renounce all of their royal privileges, their royal titles, everything to do with their life as a member of the royal family. Royal con correspondent Victoria Arbiter told a New Zealand talk show, I don't see that happening either. Yes, they're both independently wealthy and they could support themselves there, but is the South American taxpayers suddenly paying for their security or is it the British taxpayers paying for that? Neither party are going to be particularly happy. Okay, I'm bet that I don't think they are either, okay? They don't want all that. They, they, they Hey, they said they can barely take care of themselves and their children in the community. You talking about bringing royalty over here? Uh-uh, you're going to make us be a poverty land, all right? Nah, they just need to stay on over there in Europe. It's pretty much what they're saying, but hey, Maybe they will. Maybe Harry will renounce his rights of being royalty. But 
I just don't see it. He was born and raised in it. He's, you know, used to having things that privilege stepped on him. I don't think so. And then he's like, why would I deny that for my son? <laughs> That's what they probably talking about behind closed doors. But, you know, Megan be like, I don't care about that. Be your own man. Be a man. She probably said, <laughs> he probably like, what's that? <laughs> Talking about uh, serving other people, you talking about girl? I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't built for that. I ain't built for that life. They probably fussing, okay? But that's just my sidebar, okay? Moving back to the article, it says now the Duke and Duchess of Sunset are preparing to spend part of their six weeks vacation in California. Love, I told you, honey, they want to be out there with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> they want that holly. She want that. Let me say, and he probably tickled pink about it too. But he know. He can't go fully all in that pool. Okay, he can let her go and flump. Then he gonna pull her back and remind her of what or what she married into. And they're locked, stock, and connected together for life. Okay. Uh, but going back, it said a uh, six week vacation in California where they will weigh out their options in the states. Even that potential move. However, it's beginning to draw concern as royals fear it could be the first step to an official departure. From the family. Now, you know that's going to be flag on the plate. Uh, Miss Queen Elizabeth ain't going to have it. She's going to be like, oh, okay, no, nah, I let y'all have almost a, a, a what do you call it, a eight week uh, reprieve. Y'all got to shake your, your tail feathers and whatever y'all do at, at y'all age now. But mm -mm, we cannot abandon the queendom. We cannot abandon what we have made over here and we just have. Uh, legacy over legacy from generation to generation. They had to succumb to it. You all will too. And she's going to make sure of that. Yes, she is. She's going to make sure of that. All right. So getting back to the article, it says there's an acceptance that things haven't worked out with the success full time in Windsor. So they could have a second base in America, a royal source revealed to the sun. And the only thing I'm going to say about that, do we remember Princess Diana of Wales. Do we remember her and her, uh, what is it, Zodi or Hody? What was her name? Dodie? Fayette or somebody like that she was trying to escape with to go to California too. We see how that ended up. Okay. All right. Moving on. As readers know, Megan and Harry opened up about some of their experiences as royals, both in the press and on an ABC documentary, uh, Harry and Megan, an African Journey. The 38-year-old mother admitted dealing with media scrutiny as a mother and newlywed has been really challenging. Uh, and that is and that has and that she has been warned by her British friends. OK, yes, they 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 let you tread lightly. OK, then they remind you in a roundabout way. But when you really get off the uh, kill, they snatch you back. OK, they quickly remind you what you don't married into and there is no way out there is no way out <laughs> okay only death pretty much but that's the only way out going back to the article it says when i first met harry my friends were so excited my u.s friends were happy because i was happy megan said but my british friends they were sure he was lovely, but they said I shouldn't do it because the British tabloids would destroy your life because I'm American. I very naively didn't get it. It's complicated. I'm like, yeah, you you got it, Megan. You got it. You just bit off more than you thought you would be able to handle. Okay, because I'm sure your mother, who who was black, you know, that has had adversity brought at her doorstep, that being black, the second being a woman and, and trying to have a feminist thing going on, like we can do as much as men, don't uh, degrade us, don't put us to the side. Okay, we are worthy to do something out there and have our voices heard. Okay, yes. <laughs> and then you coming from, which is your third strike, Hollywood. You love that life. You love the entertainment scene. You love being in movies. You love having your own business. You love having your independent individual thoughts. Okay, not as a group setting, not for the greater good. You talking about independently. So you don't struck out already, baby. You don't struck out already. So they don't pretty much told you slow your roll. Okay. Remember who you are now, not who you 
for back when, okay? They're just trying to tell her. They're trying to tell her in a roundabout way, but she ain't getting it. She ain't getting it, y'all. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Harry has also detailed some of the ways his life has changed and confessed that he and his brother, Prince William, are on different paths at the moment and don't talk as much as they once did. See, that's what happens when you get married. Everything is kind of split down the side. You have one group of people doing whatever they want to do. Then the other group have to toe the line. And right now, that's pretty much where they are. Prince William probably a little upset because he has to sit and take all the burden and the shoulder and, and all the stuff on his back and act right, toe the line and all that. Then his little younger brother gets to go out there and act food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can see that being a little daunting and a little resentment coming from probably uh, Prince William because, you know, Yes, he's the older brother, but doggone, if he got the total line, he's saying, hey, my my uh, smaller brother, my younger brother need to do it too, because hey, what if something happened to me? He got to step up. He got to step up, show up and show out. You know what I'm saying? So I can see it, and then his wife probably saying, well, why Megan get to do this? I ain't get a chance to do this. I had the total line. You know how folks are when they see somebody else having a good life, doing stuff, and they ain't never got the chance to do it, even though they all royals. You see what I'm saying but i can i can see it i can hear it mm -hmm. but going back to the article he says the majority of the stuff in the press is created out of nothing but as brothers you know you have good days and you have bad days now he did speak the truth on that but that concluded the article y'all see they have some of the same problems but they have it on a bigger scale because they got lots 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 of money and power and prestige Okay, but like I say, more money, more problems. Okay, so I don't want them kind of problems. I stay on over here in the States, <laughs> in southern Georgia, okay? How do they call us? Back, Bama, biting, you know, southerners or whatever? I don't know what they call it. I just say southern hospitality with good attitude over here. <coughs> okay, in Atlanta, Georgia, that's where I'm going to stay because being a warrior is too much like being in the army. <coughs> or some military force. You got to eat, talk, react whenever they tell you to. Okay, there's rules and regulations. And I can follow majority of life's rules, but when you infringe on, on when I can go, where I can go, who I can talk to, who I can be around, who in the press, 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 hey, the Marco says she don't need no more press. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as she stay with William, it's going to be press, 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 and then press, press, press. But that's all I got for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about Marco, Megan. Okay, tell me she finna go and, and, and find her some more digs to live in. And she thinks she's going to get away from the queen and her responsibility as princess of Sussex. <laughs> I don't think so. Somebody better tell her, okay? Because she don't bump her head. All right, guys. That's all for this video. And I'll see you next. And always subscribe, share my videos, like my videos, tell people about my videos, of course. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I really would appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.